Hello again, and welcome back to Medieval 2. So, we've defeated the Count along with the family of vampires in our last level. And now we're going to have to go find Kia somewhere in London. I don't know where she went, but we're going to have to find her anyway. So, let's just go to this area to see the professor. And move out of the way, Han. I don't need you. To see what our mission is in the White Chapel. heard from Kia here. See if you can find her. My scans show something powerful has been collecting magic energy. So watch your back. Alrighty then, so looks like whatever is gathering all that power energy that Professor's saying, we need to watch out and see if we can save Kia from any trouble or what whatever. So with that out of the way, let's go into the chapel, which I believe is somewhere close town. And before we do that, make sure you leave a like or thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. And press the notification bell if you want to be notified by anything, as well as my goal is to reach 100 subscribers. So with that out of the way, on with the mission. We've made it to the chapel, somewhere around London, close to London. And from the looks of this, I'm almost close to death so let me just get my chicken drumstick see if that work because I'm sure that I'm gonna have to gather up some baddies soon in the cemetery there's one of them I'm just waiting for the right moment to... Ooh! And it looks like those chicken is much bigger than the last one in the last game. I'm trying to be careful not to waste any time or any drumstick. Who would have thought this would be easier to kill a zombie, turning them into roast chicken? Poultry. I missed one. And I missed another one. Just hit this box then. Almost close to filling the chalice. One of them is right here. Well, that looks good enough. And it looks like I'm going to have to go into this small, not mausoleum, but something else is called. And I'm going to have to use, put something there real soon when I get it. Well, at least this part looks very similar to the first game. Or perhaps this level only. Dane, I've asked around and Kia was last seen going into a nightclub. The old Larry is under a curfew for some reason, so tread carefully. The last thing we need is more trouble. Ask people around town. Really? A ghost asking people around town for lost person and again it's already hectic around all these zombies and all that so I guess that makes sense 
And there's a club over there, so let's go down and see what these people say. Sorry, I'm kind of full because I had a pretty large meal. So don't mind me feeling all belched up. Oh, and yeah, there's these cops. These British cops. Yep. Yeah, so they will follow you because there's a stranger. I'm just going here. Hold it, please, sir. I need to see your membership card. Apparently, I don't have a membership card, so I'm gonna have to find someone or something or where to get it. But first, let me just get my shield. And I don't have a shield. Great. And what's worse, these guys keep following me because I'm just a walking skeleton. So I'm gonna have to lose these guys. Yeah, instead of trying to focus on me, there's a horde of zombies roaming around. Why don't you just pay attention to these guys instead? You better not touch my chicken. You stupid cop. Well, let me just move this. Alright, go to this window and looks like I'm gonna tap, get something through that building because it's already closed off. And lucky me, I found a life potion fountain. So basically I'm gonna have to find a membership card or something to get through that gentleman area, gentleman club. That's the library. Okay, so that's what it is. Mm -hmm. There it is. Let me just check. Put you in here, see where that leaves me. And there's one of the pieces from the mausoleum. I don't think that's what it's called. It's it's almost like that, but much smaller. So let's just get that thing and go back to the cemetery. Or just find another piece so we can find it all together. And there's something right here shield and a book this house belongs to Isbab Bronid I'm going to butcher that name non social and socialized he was one of the richest and men on his age he made his fortune prize in the toys after a number of unexplaining accidents he was thrown to his death with wise and dimension to save his infamous dream powder rocking pony Manning to a city within Whitechapel Cemetery. All right, so basically his corpse is in buried in the cemetery. So let's go back over there, find some of the remaining pieces, and there's the membership card, and go to open that thing. Let's just go this direction and jump out to the window I don't think it's necessary but it's much quicker hold it please sir that's not your card is it sir you haven't got a beard apparently I'm gonna have to find a beard to fit in right you know what hold on let me just use something to... Yeah. 
All right, so I'm going to knock them unconscious, stun them. And from the looks of this, we're in the ghetto's place. The slum of the London town. And I don't think I need the drumstick right now. I'll just kill these guys and... Yeah, that's right, you better run. And one mouse is dead because he's in the way. And we're in the tailor shop. No, butcher. So, where's that area that I have to go to find one of the remaining pieces for that graveyard thing? And there's something over there. Let's check what it is. Oh, looking snazzy. Or fancy. I'm guessing that I have to dress up to get through the club. But I still need a beard. Let me see if this is the right area. I don't know if that's the right place, but at least I got full my chalice. Palace, but it's not natural to have zombies roaming around this town of London. Come on. And there's the chalice. Got it. Just mind my own business. I'm not some suspicious. Yes, I am, but I'm just going to dodge these guys. I'm going to have to go to this area. Or, all right. Oh, I got a flaming crossbow. Actually, I never used the crossbow. So let me just... Use this one instead, switch it. See where that gets me. And there's a small graveyard. Too many zombies roaming around. Alright. Okay, that's what I'm supposed to do. I have to press this and... Based, one, based on this thing, grave, statue thing, I'm guessing that it's the person that I need to press. Yeah, I can't think right because my thoughts are already scattered up. Just move this here and there. It's light here and there, and all right. And we have all the pieces that we're supposed to get for that cemetery. So let's go back and see what we can do. <sighs> and it looks like I have to go to that area. 
which is closed for now. Too much whistle. So I mentioned in my last, in the last game that this is kind of like Ghouls and Ghosts or Goblins Ghosts or something like that, but with a Tim Burton art style. So yeah, this is exactly like it is, but a few things here and there that are changed. Even if it's not taking place in the medieval times, it's 18th century. That just drains the whole thing out. And I've already opened this, so let's go inside and see where I find. Okay. Too many of those guys. Let me switch with the drumstick. Hopefully that's enough to get my health back. And there's the guy that I'm trying to find. Happens to be the necromancer. Somebody. You know what, let me use the lightning. Haven't used that yet. Let's see what that does. Alright, that takes care of him. And I already got him. He already gave me them. Whatever, let's get that thing. All done. He already uh, left the coffin or tomb open for his beard. So now I am snazzy enough to go to the club. So let's go. And see where I... if Kia is over there. Yeah, thank you for now realizing I'm not a skeleton in disguise wearing a fake beard. If I was wearing a Groucho glasses with a mustache and fake nose, that would be a lot different. And what's this lady all about? Good stranger, you look for the Egyptian one. <laughs> she was here. I told her what's been happening, but the Ripper, he's been working through all my girls. I think she's gone to find him. I tried to stop her, but she's a headstrong girl. If she means anything to you, you better find her before it's too late. Quick, hurry to the clock tower. But before you go, fortify yourself with this. A life bottle. Well, thank you for giving me the information. Even though I couldn't see her face in the first part. Yeah. So it looks like this Ripper is trying to find Kia and kill her. I wonder if she's referring, referring to Jack the Ripper. Because it's basically London and just not to be confused by the actual Jack the Ripper. Oh, so now you're not trying to fight me anymore, huh? Unbelievable. Not even the entire police is trying to kill me now. I guess they are fooled by their... by my mysterious disguise. Alright, enough said. Let's go find where I'm supposed to go. Okay, just one more time. 
All right, I got the chalice, so looks like I'm good. All right, there it is. There it is. <clears throat> but before I go any further, let me see if I can find like another fountain health thing. I don't think there is, but let me just check. Can't be too sure. Yeah, you didn't do anything. Oi! Yeah, they're too distracted. Ew! That's what they say. I'm pretty sure there's another place I can go. Not this one. Hold up. Mm, no. You know what? I think that's enough. I don't think there's any more to do. And I can tell that the Ripper is around because of that blood stain. So yeah, this isn't going to be pretty. So enough said, let's go to that clock tower. Where he is at. And there's nothing here for me, so let's go. I'm here, so where's Kia? More blood stains here and there. There she is. And I suppose that's the Ripper. Not Jack the Ripper. He looks too Halloweenish to be a Jack. So, looks like Kia is dead. Now we're gonna have to go to the professor and tell him the bad news. Hopes he takes it well. Well? Did you find her? Ha <laughs> And? And? Dead. Oh no! Oh no! She's dead and it's all my fault! I'll never be able to forgive myself. Anyway, uh, I'm picking up some bizarre signals from the cathedral. We must investigate. No, not me. Not quit. No, Dan, that's just what he wants. If we give up now, all of London will be his. And with London, the rest of the Empire will follow. He could have it. I don't care. Dan, Dan! Well, it looks like the professor took it too well. Yeah, actually, he was pretty much of a jerk. So, it looks like I'm going to have to end this video real soon because I'm guessing that this may be a bit different in my next video. So, thank you again for watching my video. If you like what you see, press the thumbs up, comment below, subscribe and press the notification bell. So until then, I will see you again in the next video.